Good morning, I'm Brian Gazzetto, one of the training captains here with the City of Riverside Fire Department. We're out here on our training grounds this morning doing our NFPA 1410 drills. Our NFPA 1410 drills are what we utilize them for is to understand or to evaluate our crews on the minimum standards of a fire company, whether that be our trucks, our engines, or our squads. Here we have truck one. Truck one's drill this morning is that they are going to establish a water supply put their aerial ladder into operation and pull a hand line. So as we see truck one, they're going to spot the coordination between the four people on the crew. They are, each person is going to have their own assignment with ultimately finishing this task within the time frame. We can see the crew members are coming out. They're going to pull a section of hose and attach it to that hydrant to establish their water supply. In the meantime, the other crew members are getting the truck stabilized so that they can throw the aerial ladder. Here we can see the outriggers are being uh, deployed. Those help to stabilize the truck and are necessary for the truck in order to extend the aerial ladder. We can see one of the truck firefighters has already pulled that four inch supply line off of the truck. They're attaching it to the hydrant and then they'll attach that to the truck and that will be the water supply that they'll utilize for both the aerial uh, ladder that's going to be deployed and the hand line that they're going to pull off of it. We can see that they're making the disconnect now and that individual to your left they're going to take that and that's going to connect to the pump of the truck. Once that line is connected they'll signal and they'll give the, end of the individual here uh, the tie or the, the they'll report there you go that they are ready to charge the hydrant. The hydrant will be charged, and in the meantime, the aerial ladder is getting into position. And you can see that this incorporates, in order to be proficient at this, it takes all individuals uh, to not only know their parts, but also to coordinate with all the other individuals uh, that are operating together. We have two of our evaluators. All of our drills are timed. These are national standards that we utilize and we utilize the same standard to all of our truck company, engine companies, and, and uh, rescue squad companies throughout the city so that uh, we can understand if they're meeting the standard and if they don't meet the standard, what deficiencies we have that we need to correct in the future. You can see they're moving that aerial um, ladder around and in the distance what you don't see is we have a target and the, the, the end of result of this drill is that we want that aerial stream, that, that water stream, to actually hit a target. So we see that the aerial is now in place, our uh, supply line is charged, our firefighters to the right of the apparatus, they're pulling a two and a half inch attack line, that will be the second line that will need to be deployed in order to, uh, for this evolution. And the time started when they set the air brake and it's going to end when the water is hitting the target. Everybody's in place. Aerial's getting set at the appropriate length and angle. And now as you see the lines are being charged, they are ready to flow water. The City of Riverside Fire Department utilizes these 1410 minimum standards for a fire company to, to not only to have a better uh, mindset of how our uh, companies are operating in the field, but it also en enhances our ISO ratings and that uh, our accreditation factors that we constantly are evaluating our engine companies and our truck companies to ensure that they are able to perform the essential functions uh, for the calls that they're going to respond on and for the citizens in the city. As you can see, we now have the uh, water flowing out of our aerial ladder, the master stream as we would call it, and we have a hand line, a two and a half inch hand line that's also flowing water on that target. As soon as we get both of those streams to be able to hit the target, the time will stop. 
And once again, here we go. It looks as if truck one was successful this morning, being able to get both those lines into service. Well, excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this demonstration of what we do for our uh, readiness drills, our 1410, NFPA 1410 drills, as, you've, as I've said before. Understand that all of our equipment, all 20 pieces of equipment throughout the city go through these drills, and not only the pieces of equipment, but also each individual shift. As many of you know that, or might know that we have an A, a B, and a C shift. That's how we get 24 hour coverage, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So those three shifts, all of those shifts uh, are, are evaluated and it's to ensure that every individual in our department can meet those minimal standards. And not only do we meet the minimum standards, but many of our crews try to become proficient, try to get that as quick as we can possibly on these basic tasks so that all of these tasks then can correspond to that emergency that some of our, that many of our citizens might need that would encounter.